Another Mustang video, because of course, another Mustang video. Drove the car like 300 miles, no issues. Enjoying it, having a good time. Then it started misfiring the next time I fired it up. Tried to drive it, two miles down the road would not get better, so I had to turn around and drive it back. I uh, pulled all the spark plugs. All my gaps are good between 52 and 56 thousandths. As you can see based off the sticker, still on the hood 52 and 56 for your gap i took all the wires spark plug wires and i checked the resistance should be between five and eight ohms and they were so now i have the distributor cap off and the uh the little um push button whatever you want to call it with the spring behind it is moving freely it's not bound up it's not stuck uh, there's no moisture in the cap. However, there is some buildup on the um, the pickups here, or the terminals, I guess is the right word. So I've already cleaned off two. I'm going to clean off the other six, put everything back together, start up, see if it runs any better. And that's my working theory right now, is that there's just some buildup on all these terminals, and that's why I was still able to start the car. Uh, but... It was just running rough so i guess it was just one of those things where you know it has enough build up where it's causing the misfire but it's not too much build up to prevent the car from starting i don't know it's a working theory we'll uh, we'll test it so that's where i'm at but yeah always something with this car always something and i want to coyote swap this thing like go through even more trials with this thing but you know what I'm learning all the time, so I guess that's a win. Okay, so I've been working on cars for a little while now, but I never realized this. So I put spark plugs number eight, number seven in, and I picked up number six, and this one's number four right here. But did you guys know that the ends are threaded on, at least for these spark plugs? Because I was feeling a couple, and I was like, eh, these feel kind of loose. So that could have been another possible issue leading to my misfire but you can just take the ends off wow i never knew that i'm sure some of you already knew that let me know in the comments but that is definitely new to me hmm okay all right no problem well um yeah the these look i don't know if those necessarily fouled out shouldn't have a very fine tip on the end on the uh the inside part not the not the tongue the tongue coming out but the inside part i'm not sure i'll have to look more into that but yeah no i'm gonna make sure these ends are nice and tight from the spark plug wire goes over top of them because if they're maybe a little loose maybe i'm getting a little bit of misfire or it's adding to it so hmm yeah i'm just gonna stand here for a few minutes and be like how the heck did i never realize that but I'm going to get all these back in the car. I got the distributor cap, all the terminals cleaned off. And uh, I'm going to fire it up and see what, see what uh, it sounds like. All right, I just fired it up again. Yeah, it's still doing I can still hear it. Kind of backfiring or misfiring. Even though I cleaned that distributor cap, all the terminals out of any corrosion. Huh, I don't know. I mean, it could be spark plugs and wires. I mean, I could try that, but everything tested good, looked good, gaps were good. I feel like I got another issue going on here. I just haven't quite figured it out yet. Well, I'm just gonna let it idle for a little while, see if, see if I can figure anything out. I was so close to 135,000 miles for the oil change I was going to do and take it on the mini road trip to the wedding, but no dice. All right, well, let's pop the hood. Oh, it's a reach. definitely 
missing there or something. Nice big lever, easy to access. I'll let it run for a bit, then I'll, um, I'll rev it up a little bit with the throttle cable, but something else going on, I can't, haven't quite figured it out. Which is unfortunate because it's such a nice day out to drive the car. I mean, I got a new new gasket between the uh, EGR and the upper intake manifold. I got a new gasket uh, between the throttle body and the idle air control. Maybe the idle air control is a little messed up. I'll have to figure out how to test that. Um, honestly, what else? It's probably some, some small issue that's eluding me because, I mean, the car starts right up every time. So... I am determined to figure it out, so, before I put a coyote in the thing, which is my eventual plan. Hmm. All right, well, I'll keep, I'll keep diagnosing, or attempting to, and if y'all have any thoughts, put them down in the comments below, thanks. Okay, here's a rev up from the engine bay, let's see what it sounds like. neutral now that I need to load. Yeah, there's a pop. It's popping a little bit. See the RPM, so I, th I think something's still going on. Hmm. I don't know.
try another uh, first second here. Thanks for watching. I have a little entertainment at my expense. <laughs> Can't get this dang on car out of the garage and on the road like I want. Um, but at least I got the free Beetle I can continue to drive. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. More Mustang videos to come because this car is never ending with the uh, tweaks and repairs and whatnot. All right. I'll see you.